What's up guys, Jason here, Aspiring Entrepreneur, and in this review, we're gonna be looking at the top five reasons you shouldn't be using Optimized Press or Optimized Press Member for your membership site on WordPress. So this is the second review in this little series. The first one, we talked about the top five reasons you should use Optimized Press for your membership website. So here we are balancing out all that positivity with a mound of negativity, so we're just gonna dive right in, top five reasons. Optimized Press might not be the best solution for you when it comes to your membership website. And kicking things off at number five is it's a closed membership system. Unlike most membership plugins that pretty much work with any theme, the Optimized Member plugin and Optimized Press itself is really designed to be a closed system, which is a pro and a con. So the pro is you don't really have to worry about a lot of integration. The big con, however, is there's no integration to worry about. So if you're not looking for a solution to actually make the physical pages that all of your content is going to be on, then Optimized Press member is not going to be a good solution for you because it's really designed to work with the Optimized Press theme or plugin. So the good news is this can still work regardless of what theme you're using, but you have to use the plugin and Optimized Press member to work together to make your pages and protect your content. And number four is the sequential membership levels. Now there are a lot of different levels that they have in terms of protecting your content inside the membership site, but the problem is unless you have one giant membership site where you want someone to have access to level one, then two, then three, then four, if someone has access to level four, they will automatically have access to everything else. So if you have a bunch of individual products, this is not a good solution or system at all because if you want someone to just have access to number four and not have access to anything else, well, you're kind of out of luck. Now, they do offer a package system where you can have a membership level and then a specific product package and then only people who have access to that product package have access to whatever you define inside that product package, which is kind of a fix, but when we get to number one, you'll see why this doesn't quite work when you start scaling. And number three, you have to create every single page. Now you can duplicate pages, but it's not an easy interface where you get to set a template for a specific page in terms of your home page or your module page or your lesson pages. You're really winding up making a new page every time you want to add content to your site. Unlike some of the hosted solutions or something like Thrive Apprentice, if you've played with that, where there's a simple interface where you define a template for all of the content pages and then you can just easily add content without manually going into each page and adding videos and downloads individually so it's more of a pet peeve so it'll take longer to set up your membership website but in the end it does give you a little more customization and flexibility however after building multiple membership websites I've never found myself using that extra flexibility that comes from being able to make individual pages every single time which is why I put it as a negative because I'd rather just have an easy interface where I throw in the membership content and be done with it as opposed to creating page after page page after page. Number two, plug-in compatibility issues. And this is gonna be true for the Optimized Press theme and the Optimized Press plugin. So this, while not directly related to Optimized Member, because Optimized Member needs the theme or the plugin to really work well, this is a huge negative, and that is the page builder is not compatible with a lot of plugins and themes that are out there. Now this is just comes with the territory of WordPress, but Optimized Press in particular has a lot of issues with their page builders with other plugins. And this is simply a result of developer from one company isn't talking to a developer at another company because that would make no sense, right? And so one of the things that can wind up happening is if you're not careful, you can have plugins or themes not allowing you to properly edit your pages. For example, if you're using the popular Divi theme by Elegant Themes, Divi actually blocks all of Optimized Press's abilities to create pages on the back end. So you wanna make sure that Optimized Press is going to play nice with everything else that you already have or be ready to switch what you have so you can find something that plays nice with Optimized Press. They do have a updated list of things that do and don't work with Optimized Press so you can kind of get a sense of whether or not what you have is going to work before you add Optimized Press to your site. And finally, number one, which is the most disappointing, is the autoresponder integration. So remember earlier, I talked about the fact that all of the membership levels build on each other but you could have membership packages for individual products. Well, here's the problem. The autoresponder integration that they're currently working on as of the recording of this video does not allow you to segment your list based upon the packages, which means 
if you have membership level one and you have package one, two, or three, the only way you're gonna be able to segment your list is on membership level one. You're not gonna be able to segment out people who bought package A, package B, or package C, which as a email marketer just drives me nuts because you really, really wanna know exactly what customer bought what product because the last thing you wanna do is have people in membership level one who bought, you know, package A or package B and then see promotions for package A and package B. I've seen this on other people's lists and because I'm a fellow marketer, you know, I kind of cut them some slack. But imagine if you charge your customer $97 for a product and then three or four months later you do a promotion, it's 47 bucks. Well, you don't want to show that promotion to people who already paid 97 because it's just going to piss them off and it's going to make them feel bad for doing business with you. And so you really, really want and need those particular people who purchase packages to only see promotions that are related to them to push them to the next level as opposed to seeing discounts for stuff that they already bought. And that's it. Those are the top five reasons that Optimized Press may not be the best solution for creating and protecting your membership website. So if you have any questions, go ahead and comment in the comment section below. I read and reply to every single one. And in the description, I have a link to a video on the top five reasons you should use Optimized Press to balance out the negativity here and a video tutorial that walks you through the basic process of creating a membership website with Optimized Press. So if you got some value out of this video, go ahead and hit that like button and then subscribe because over on my channel. I'm documenting the entire process of what it takes to build a online business from scratch. And of course, finding the right membership software and setting up your membership website is just one small piece in the bigger sales funnel creation process. So I encourage you to join myself and other aspiring entrepreneurs on this crazy journey called entrepreneurship. So go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, comment below if you have any questions. And of course, until the next video, keep building the business you love. Take care.